Hey, welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. So, uh, this is Alon Paul, and I'm about to do a permadeath, no starter ship, no HUD challenge. Now, here's what we're going to do, though. I'm going to do this in half-hour increments until we either find a ship I can buy or find a crash ship I can repair. Now, got kids here, uh, so there'll be some noise in the background. This microphone picks up, uh, uh, it can pick up basically a, a butterfly's wings uh, fluttering in another county from here so you're going to pick up some noises in the background but uh, hopefully uh, it'll do pretty well so let's get this thing started again we're going to do it in half hour increments i've got a timer on the screen as you can see hopefully out of the way so we're going to immediately switch this over to permadeath first of all and we're just going to max out everything yes save deleted as you can see is already done challenging scarce we got already got expensive selected uh, harsh standards for everything here, like stacking limits, challenging. Um, yeah, we're going to disable the tutorial so we're at least able to get things as we go, because otherwise it becomes ridiculous. And, of course, we're going to lock the difficulty settings so we can never change these back. And I can't cheat. Okay, so there we go. Everything's ready to go for this custom difficulty, permadeath, no starter ship, and no HUD challenge. So now as we get into the game, I probably could have done this uh, before we even started just by hitting the settings button. But we're gonna, as soon as we start, we're going we're gonna to get into the main settings here. We're going to turn off the HUD and see what we can do here. So, and we'll start up the timer as soon as we get the expedition going. And again, I'm going to do this in like 30 minute increments. So I'll do 30 minutes, we'll end the video, we'll start up again, that kind of thing. That way it makes it a little bit easier to watch during breaks and stuff like that. Eistman. Wow, nasty planet. And you notice it doesn't even give us an E, so we're going to go ahead and get the timer started. Options. Uh, general. And HUD. Disabled. So here we go. This is the tough part. Apply these changes. You'll notice there is nothing. If I hit my F button, nothing happens. I can't even look at things and it won't tell me what they are. So I have to keep an eye on things, definitely. Um, I need sodium, I need carbon, and we'll need some ferrite dust, of course. So as long as there's particles and you see sparks, it means you're acquiring something. You can see items coming to you as well. All right, so that's one. I don't even know how much I'm getting until I check my inventory, but I'll definitely need some carbon. Uh, I don't even know what gives carbon at this point. Let's see what we got. So, yeah, we got some carbon from that. We want to find a cave again, or we want to find... Um, that's not giving us anything. Oh, sodium. We need that. Let's grab that. We obviously need these guys. And I don't even know how much my charge is on my multi-tool, so i got to be careful. So the first few minutes of this is really tough. Oop, that plant gives me what I need. So does that. We definitely need, I think we need at least 50 ferrite, I think. Unlike the expedition, though, we can use a lot of different things. So... area of effect on those things is dangerous, so you got to be careful. Got it. Okay, let's get some more carbon. Okay. How much did we get so far? And you know, a second. Keep an eye on my life support and my hazard protection. We just got to be careful. Uh, I got pure ferrite. I need some more regular ferrite. That's okay. That's okay. And if we can find a cave, we'll be in a better shape, because we definitely need some cobalt at some point. Come on. There we go. There we go. Dihydrogen. I didn't think we were picking it up for some reason. Ah, overheated. think. 
Let's see. Oh, I ran out of charge. And I don't have enough to get it going here. I need 75 ferrite to get that fixed. Ah, we got some cabinetry. Some some product on the ground there. Alright. Grab this. Because this will come in handy later. I can turn that into ferrite. Let's see what we got. Got enough ferrite, finally. Ooh, we got a dihydrogen. That's excellent. Okay, we're in good shape. Let's repair our multi-tool real fast. Okay. Put you over here. We're going to put you here. This we can now charge with condensed carbon. Excellent. So we're in better shape there. We definitely need more sodium because we're going to need some stuff. Now, you're usually facing in the direction that your starter ship is, so we want to be careful about that. I really have no idea which direction I'm heading, because obviously with no HUD, we will not know where anything is. Alright, I think we got enough of this stuff. Yeah, we're in good shape there. We're definitely going to need more ferrite, but I need to find myself a cave. Let's head for this piece of machinery here. Yeah, we'll take that, because we can use the ferrite from it. Okay, guessing we just got nanites out of it. Boatcaster module. Okay, well, we'll hang on to it. See, we're down to 49 on that, so we really... That might be a cave in front of me. Let's head that direction. I'm not worried about nanites at this point, because it's really not necessary. I see some more sodium over there. And it is not a cave. Okay. Excellent. Okay, we got... We got supplies. That should keep us going for a little bit until we die. Okay, good. Any more caves? Now, fortunately, falls can't kill us unless I fall too many times in a row. Okay. That's a good find. Alright, so we are charged up and ready. We have to watch our life support. Okay, good. I don't know what these give us. Is this ferrite or is it carbon? What do you think? We're getting something from it. Let's see. That was carbon. That's excellent. Okay, I could use that later. I'm going to start needing more oxygen soon if I can't get myself a cave here. I'm not seeing any caves. It would be sucky if this was a caveless planet, but it has happened before. Alright. Our biggest thing, once we get to a point where we can survive, our biggest thing is going to be high points. We've got to get up to high ground in order to find things. not getting anything from it. I don't know why. Okay, that'll be enough. I don't have a terrain manipulator, so I can't get anything from these things yet. I'm not going to search the ground for the uh, stuff that I'm getting. Okay. Looking pretty good, though. Let's see what we can find. I really want a cave. I want cobalt, I need to make some life support gels, I need to make some batteries. Matter of fact, can I make a life support gel right now? I can. And we'll need more carbon for that. To make more. Let's make one more jelly. Okay. And our hazard protection is dropping like a rock. So it must be a very hot planet. Hotter than usual. Okay. Hey. 
That might be a cave. Yep, 9%. Look at that, huh? Glad I did something. That's not a cave. Oh, we just hurt ourselves. We gotta be careful. Do we damage anything? No. Good. Is this a cave? Nope, it is just a hole. Oh, wait a minute. There is a cave. I might be able to get something here. Let's see. It's climbing. Okay, good. And while we're here, that is cobalt. So it's a tiny, tiny, tiny cave. It's not what I'm really wanting, but it'll work for our purposes. Okay. I think we just got ourselves a... crystal out of that one. And I'm going to watch the time carefully. We've been 10 minutes in. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we got a couple crystals out of it. So we got some ionized cobalt. It's worth a little bit, but not great. Alright, let's see if we can make some batteries. 10 cobalt, so that'll give us 5 batteries and ferrite dust. We can only make 1 right now. Alright, what else can we make? We do not have technology to build a backpack. Okay. Let's put you over here. Let's get you over here. And you over here. Now we're going to pick up life support, but we can get some of these. That'll be great. Alright. Multi-tool. How are we looking? Put that in there for now. That'll alleviate a space in my inventory. So, I really could use to be... I need to make a metal plate. So I'm going to need more ferrite. So let's find some. This looks like carbon, so let's gather up whatever resources we can find here. While we're in the safety of a cave. I think I'm hitting that. Can't tell. Alright, there we go. It's always good to get carbon while we're here. Alright. Rock. Again, I need to make a metal plate. I don't recall in this mode how much it costs. Or it's going to cost me, I should say. Oh, I've got two rocks I can gather up. Excellent. Those are not something I can gather. Alright. Do we have enough to make one metal plate? Let's find out. We do, and it takes 50. So we should be able to build a... That's not what I want. I want my build menu. Portable refiner. We have enough oxygen. So, so what are we going to do here? We don't have a lot of carbon. I'm going to just put a little bit in. Um, I need to make more ferrite with that. The pure ferrite isn't really going to help us right now. It could. I may hang on to it for now. The cobalt, we've got... I don't think that really does anything. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, ionized cobalt. It's going to be better if I turn it into cobalt for myself right now. I'm not going to get enough money from it to make it worth my time. So let me just get some regular cobalt out of it, and I can make more batteries. And let's put you in here. Hopefully that it's enough of a charge. I don't think it is. That might be enough of a charge. Wow, that's taking a while. Wow. Yeah. I didn't think it would take that long. This may not be worth my time. It's enough for a metal plate. We need enough ferrite dust to make repairs to our person. Because occasionally we are going to drop hard, we're going to damage something in our inventory, and it usually requires at least 75 ferrite dust in order to be able to repair it. So, getting that much is worth my time. I can get more carbon. I can get more... Um... Condensed carbon, as long as I can find the red rocks, the red crystals. So that should be pretty good. Alright, so we're 15 minutes in. We're getting into a spot here where we're in better shape. So let's make some 
batteries. There we go. And this requires just a dihydrogen jelly. Let me see how many we can make. Let's make two. Two ought to do. And we need 19 more carbon to make one more of those, so... Let's get back in here, take a look. Alright, whatever we can get out of this last batch, uh, once this runs out, it runs out, we're done. So... And then we'll call it. Because we now have enough batteries to keep myself going for a while, we don't have to rely so much on the sodium. But we have to remember that once we hit around 20 to 25 percent, as it drops to 20 to 25 percent of hazard protection, we've got to remember to load up immediately or else it'll try to use up two batteries. And there we go. Okay. So I'm not really worried about it. I am going to put this in my inventory, but I'm going to delete it. Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, good. So we got ferrite. We got pure ferrite, which will help repair my ship. We got dihydrogen. Um, carbon. Put the oxygen over here. Let's put the sodium over here in case we need it. We're going to drop you down to the bottom and drop you down to the bottom. Cobalt. We need more cobalt as we go, but we should have enough. How much ferrite do I have? There we go. I can make one more battery with it so I can e ease up a little bit more inventory space. Uh, life support is running a little bit low. How much oxygen do we have? We have 81. That'll give us a full charge. Okay, good. Alright, we're in good shape. Nighttime. Let's head out. Let's see how hot it is. Oh, maybe it's cold. My hazard protection is dropping. Okay. So again, we're going to keep heading in this general direction. Hopefully we don't start going in circles. Did I just find a hole? No. I mean, I was heading towards this ridge anyway, but... Alright, so we need carbon, like we said. So let's keep an eye open for that. And don't forget that the plants on this planet will help you. Okay, let's get up this cliff. Are you kidding? Seriously. All right, that's uh, that's nice. Wow, that was annoying. All right, high ground. Remember? Now you notice my headlamp is off. I do that purposely because there are plants and stuff that glow, and if you're shining your headlamp at it, you won't quite see it sometimes. We want to look around as much as we can. What else can we build for our multi-tool? We need an analysis visor, right? So we need a carbon nanotube for that, which we have to build. And we definitely need a terrain manipulator. So we'll need two more for that. Okay. That's what we needed that extra one for. Uh, what does this give us? Life support. There we go. And that's dropping like a rock. Okay, can we make carbon nanotubes? We don't have nearly enough carbon. And I might as well drop a battery in there now. Okay. We need carbon. There we go. So, until we can get our analysis visor and start being able to look into the distance. Come on. Thank you. Four, five. There we go. I didn't know that was, was it a plant cluster. Yeah, it is. How much carbon do we get out of that? That's good. How much does it cost to make now these guys? 50 of them. So I can make two. I need one more. Come 
one. Let's get a few of them. Because again, we're going to need more carbon. And I can see some condensed carbon over there, so that's good. That should be enough. Three. So we should be able to get this one going. And not you. This one going. Alright, so now we got everything we need. Got all of our tools. Now we need to start looking for stuff. And we're going to have some... What do you call it showing up soon? Some sentinels. So we need to make sure we keep our eyes peeled. Oh, there's more. Okay, that will keep us going for now. Okay, so I'm going to pick objects in the sky. I like the rings on that planet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head towards that planet. I know I can't walk there, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying I'm using it as a navigation beacon. Kind of like using the stars in the sky. So we're going to use a planet for our guidance. Head towards that. And as we can, we're going to try to find high ground so we can see further away. Because now we can see a little bit. We can. It won't pinpoint us any places to go. But you'll notice that that guy is heading in a direction. We're going to watch for ships. Thank heavens there's ships because I've, I've run into that before. Or there weren't any. And what ended up happening is there was a planet with no ships that were flying overhead. And I realized there were no landing pads or anything. And the only way that I could get anywhere is if I uh, found a crash ship. That was the only way to do it. And even those were going to be scarce because of the situation. So... All right, we're up, and I think my Extreme heat damage detected. of course. Technology great, that's yeah, just great. Anything damaged? Nobody glowing red. No, good. Okay, so we're gonna take a look around and see if we can find anything. I remember somebody had watched one of my videos one time and said you missed a crash ship. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So, that was annoying. Hey, I know what that is. That is money. Those green things are money. That's chlorine. And this is good stuff, too, if we can get some good stuff out of it. I'm going to get rid of that this time. All right. And let's go ahead and grab it. It's carbon anyway. Oh, let me see. Oh, I can't get it, right? Nope, it's not going to work for me. That's worth some money. Use that up real quick. It's just dropping like a rock. I don't know how we're going to get through this, but... Where's my planet? There it is. Again, I'm going to look around, and we're going to head on. Caves are going to be our friend here. Life support. Let's go ahead and grab it. Okay, good. That won't work for me. Thank you. Where did my planet go? It must be behind the hill. Keep our eyes peeled. Looks like I got some condensed carbon up ahead. That'll be helpful. Hack. Nope, it's a plant. And that's perfectly fine too, because that's going to be life support right there. The other plants will provide me with hazard protection, so i got to keep my eyes peeled for them. I think we need that now. Got it. Ha ha. Okay. Walk casually and take a look around. Always look around. Get up to high points when you can. It's the only way you're going to find anything around here. And when ships fly overhead, kindly detect where they're heading to. They will always give you a hint as to where you can find certain things. Like landing pads. Or the big trade platforms.
again, caves will be our friend here. Keep your eyes peeled. Is that? It is a cave, but because it has those, but it's an open end cave. It's kind of an odd one. Not going to help us much. Ship's flying. Where are they headed? They're headed that way. Eh, too bad we can't see where they're headed, unfortunately. It is a direction we're kind of heading anyway. going fast, I know, but we're going up a hill. <sighs> I think they made some adjustments to it, because I think this is even more difficult than I thought it was. Life support. Let's get in here. Okay. Okay. I think the life support's dropping a little quicker than I expected. And if I'm not mistaken, those will give me a boost to my hazard protection. I obviously can't climb this. It should give me the ability to get up there. Yep, hazard protection. There you go. Okay. Gonna keep our close eye open here. High ground. That's what I say every time I hit it. High ground. Okay. okay I don't see anything just yet. Really would like to find another cave. A decent one this time. out of charge on that. Of course I am. Wouldn't it be something if I found something really close? Because we are literally coming up on the half hour mark real fast. So let's get to the top of this ridge and we're going to call this video paused. Of course they are. I'm going to use them both. Way to kill myself. Like I said, I think they're nerfing some things here, so I think the, the, they must have listened to somebody say, hey, permadeath isn't so tough. And they have made it more difficult. That's my guess. Oh, there is something there I can get. Okay, good. All right. I would love to find a cave or something here right about now, but I am not finding anything, and it looks like daylight is upon us. Someplace I can just pause real quick and say, Hey, we'll be back again in the next episode, but give me a few moments. Okay, stop that. Wow, daylight just pops up real fast, doesn't it?
Where are you guys going? Okay. Oh, pretty decent looking ship there. Oh, I got some sodium. I got a sodium field down there. Okay, good deal. So which way are they going? To the right. So supposedly there's a maybe something there to the right, but I'm heading in this direction, so I kind of want to continue in that direction so I don't get lost. Uh, I'd love to find a building or something in the distance, but I'm not seeing anything at all. All right, let's grab this sodium. This will probably be a good spot to to pause, and we'll come back in the next episode, episode two of the Permadeath Run. Yeah, this will be good. I don't find these too often. We're about to use some of this, so even if it fills up a couple spots in our inventory, it's going to be worth it. Wow, this was a pretty good field. All right. Recharge hazard protection with sodium. We got 293 out of it that way. All right. So uh, thank you for watching, and we will see you folks in just a little bit in our next episode. Take care.